Hello, welcome to this E4 Clicks Project Estimator training video. Today we'll be searching through your RS Means Guide. Specifically, we're going to look at the Select Group command. If you have not already viewed the Navigation Tree video, we suggest that you do this now. What we're going to do here is extend that capability a little bit, and I, we think it'll make uh, a lot more sense if you watch the Navigation Tree video and then watch the Select Group video. Okay? We're going to slow over to E4 Clicks, and this time we are going to start off where the navigation tree video ended. Okay? So we had just used the navigation tree to find our pipe slash tube copper, our copper piping for our facility water distribution inside of plumbing. We had drilled down one level, two levels, three levels, and then we got to our fourth level here copper piping. And we clicked on the locate item button and it took us there in the book and then we could go find whatever line item that we wanted it to. Okay? The nice thing about the navigation tree is it lets you see it through the tree. Now we're going to extend that a little bit and instead of looking at the entire tree each time, we're just going to look at one of the branches of the tree, one of the sections of the tree, if you will. Okay? So we're going to come back here. Say we wanted to find the half inch pi piping and we wanted to find the half inch fittings for that piping, okay? So instead of going to the navigation tree, what we could do is go to select group. All right, so if we right click on this item and we go to our search utilities and we find select group there, this is gonna obviously activate that command. G begins group, so the select group command can also be activated using control G as a hotkey. So I can do that. If you remember for one of our other videos, we can hold the control key down on the keyboard and then press the G key, releasing them both. That'll open up the group selector window and we can see we have all of the items that were in the navigation tree under the area that we were at. Okay, so let's close that back for a second and see what we did. The line item that we have highlighted is how the guide selector will be activated. So what we're going to do is here we're at the fifth level. We're all the way down into the actual line item itself. When we control G on this, it's going to take us up one level, basically to the fourth level. There's the 23 level. And show us the parent of the item that we're on, basically this one as well as all the aunts and uncles, if you will, all of the other ones at that same level within the teen section. Okay? So what we can do is come here to pipe tube fittings copper and jump over there. So we can hit the N key on the keyboard. We could double click on this item or we could come down and click on the select button and we're going to jump to the copper fittings right there. Notice how we're all right on that line item. And then we come down and find the fittings that we wanted to, for, for example. And if we hit Control G again, or right clicked, or there's definitely a toolbar icon too. We've been kind of working our way through our search utilities. We just finished with navigation tree. The one right next to it is select group. So we can click the select group and it'll activate that for the line item that we're highlighted on. And boom, we're right back to the similar list. Okay, so we could find steel piping or plastic piping or whatever we needed to find. All right, let's jump to steel piping for a second. I just double click there. And again, it took us up one level and showed us all the aunts and uncles, if you will, for the item we were on. Now we're on actually 22, 11, 13, 44. We're at this fourth level, not down one more level. So if we hit Control G, what we're going to do is it's going to take us up the one level to the third level and show us all of the sections within the third level within section 11 there, if that makes sense. So what we did, I'm just going to close this for a, section, for a second and go back to the guide navigator. What it basically did was went back up to this level and showed us the tree for everything under 2211 and allows, allowed us to quickly move back and forth to see what our options were. 
kind of jump back here and show you that one more time so we can see it. Control G, and we can see those three options. We selected it. We were right there. And if we hit Control G again, where is it going to take us? It's going to take us up one level and show us everything at the two level inside of 22. Nice, right? So if we go back to our navigation tree, in the previous video, we also looked at selective demolition of flooring. So let's go locate that item for a second. And that's just right there. If we go down, and if we get our favorite cove base that we've been demoing and finding in all these videos, if we hit Control G, it'll take us right back to that level. If we needed to look at flooring or walls and partitions, and we can go there. If we need one level back up, we could hit Control G again and it'll show us that. We can go up there. If we hit Control G again, it takes us up one level, so it allows us to quickly maneuver basically through the table of contents without having the entire tree there that we'd have to look through. So hopefully that makes some sense, and in the next video, we're going to actually look at how to add line items that we've found from our RS Means Guide into our estimate. Okay, so hopefully that helps us and gives us a bunch of good different tools to search through our RS Means Guide. Please see other training videos or give us a call if you need any help at all. Thanks and have a great day.